up here at Wall Lake, Wall Lake Dam. Nice little flow of water coming out. We'll get up there to the top and shoot another little bit of clip. Top from the top of the dam. lake because up around the corner a pretty big lake about almost a mile and a half long there's the lake all around we're gonna camp at the far end up there somewhere It's a really beautiful day. A little thunderstorm building right there. Yeah, we'll get in camp before anything happens. And uh, great day, do a little fishing. There's the wife. She's slugging it out up the trail. And then in the distance in the trees is my other companion, my wife's cousin. They're slugging it out. Tough women, very tough women. They're waving. They'll make it, they always do. Just before the sun rises over Wall Lake, we're out having our lattes. Even at over 9,000 feet, you can have good coffee. Beautiful out. Not a breath of wind. Sun's gonna pop over the hill right over there. Sun's just coming over the hill. Just beautiful out. Not too many fish in this lake. Caught two brookies last night, but this lake's not too prolific. Wall Lake in the morning. Here's camp this morning. We're heating up water and making coffees. And, uh, just getting going for the day. Oh. One camper's up, the other one's still in bed. They've got to get moving. Waiting for the sun to come up. <laughs> it's coming. It just came over the hill. It's in the low 50s. It's not that cold out. We got kind of wet though. Before the sun, before the sun went down, it rained pretty good. All right, seven mile hike today. Donahue Pass Trail intersection. Donahue Pass that way. Mr. Marmot sitting on the rock. He's about 20 feet away. Just watching me. This is what they make Marmite out of, I think. In England. I don't know why. It's horrible stuff. There he is. Almost up to Donahue Pass. About a mile to go. Look at looking right at us. Yeah. Minarets from the west side. We're almost up to Donahue Pass. It's kind of beautiful right here. Just do a panorama. And uh, right here behind me now is Donahue Pass. 
11, 11,006. Is that it? We're almost up there by about 30 minutes. I'll be there. The view from the top Donahue Pass, that's Tuolumne Meadows way down on the bottom down there. This is the little pond in the headwaters of the Tuolumne, right below Mount Lyle, way, way up there. Clouds are starting to build. Rise some thunderstorms again today. It's just beautiful. There's the trail down there. Camp four at the end, at the top end of the this big meadow where the Tuolumne River is running down through. We can hear it. The rain is coming and it's imminent. We're setting up camp. We're setting up camp at the horse camp since there's nobody here. Quite the view. Hour number two of thunderstorm and now hail. Thunder, lightning, hail, rain, event <laughs> is over. We have a very nice fire going, very nice. drying things out. They're off to get more water and do the dishes. Good women. There we go. Sky's cleared up a bit. Absolutely beautiful out. The fire, warmth. Not that cold though. It's in the probably upper 50s. Morning at Camp 4, 7 o'clock. The sun's creeping down the mountain. Beautiful little fog again. We are having our coffees. It's really wet this morning from dew and the rain, of course. Nothing frozen or anything. It's cool out though. Probably in the low 40s. Pretty nice out. There's the pack. 40 pounds of a bunch of stuff that you think weighs nothing. Sun's coming. About three quarters of the way across the valley floor and we're just about two more things to pack up we're just about ready to go that's the ground squirrel chirping whole families or groups of them here on their mounds right there chirping
out there in the grass there's three or four other heads all poking up. There's three of them right here. And then off over there, there's another one. Look around. Their heads pop up out of the grass. It's kind of funny. The last few hundred feet of the official hiking part. This is the Tuolumne Meadows High Sierra Camp where we will take showers and then have a steak dinner. A fine conclusion to our 30 plus mile trip in five days and five passes. Six passes, I was just corrected, six. High altitude is affecting me. I think we topped it about 12,250 was our highest pass. And you guys think I breathe hard in my videos? You should hear me now. Alrighty, we'll see you at dinner. <laughs>